Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon Fisher here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to show you the webcam feature inside a live pigeon. So let's get into this. I'm inside a live pigeon right now, and I'm going to go ahead from the dashboard. I'm going to click on the webcam button. So from here, we're going to fill out the title and description. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Next is the destinations tab where I'm going to choose where I want this to be able to go live. So for this example, I'm gonna choose my Facebook page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Hey, and it's me. Okay, so I am on camera right now. Uh, so feel free if you want. I have two different webcams, but I want the nicer one. So I'm gonna leave that there. I also have like my microphone set up here. So I'm, that one's also selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and enter. So now that I'm inside the webcam view, I've already selected my video. I've selected my audio. Uh, this is how this screen looks until I actually press this go live now button. This is just kind of, uh, I get to hang out here, kind of get the, my camera dialed in. Uh, I can check to make sure that my audio settings are where they need to be. Kind of getting the layout of this and how it looks. Um, and so anyway, what I should probably do is um, go over some of these buttons with you. So right now we've got video settings. Now, if I wanted to change my webcam, I could click on video settings and then I could go ahead and choose a different camera if I wanted or same with the microphone and I can go ahead and click save and enter. Okay, so nothing changed there. Now, these two buttons aren't going to do anything right now, but when I do click this button here, which is the go live button, then it'll actually start taking this stream and it's going to push it live. Once that happens, then I can click these buttons here, uh, but they won't do anything until then. Um, this is kind of cool because you can actually be doing live chat while you're uh, on, on your webcam. Um, if you have multiple places that you're going live, uh, you'll see different tabs uh, over here on the left-hand side. Um, again, for this example, I'm only going to be going live to one place, uh, but that is something that you can toggle between different ones, and then you'll be able to chat on the different places that you're going live. Um, this will also show you how many comments have come in, how long you've been streaming for. And then what else is nice is uh, the reason I like this is because you can go live with a webcam. You can get that maximum engagement with your audience. But let's say you wanted to play a pre-recorded video. So for example, I have a video here that I might want to choose. So I could go ahead and click this. And so I'm basically building out my show right now in front of you, which is great. So what this allows me to do is I can go live with my webcam first. And then when I'm ready, now that I've added my video, I can go ahead and click stream now, or I can change the video. Uh, we, we talked about in another video about playlists. I can actually create a playlist and go live with a playlist. Um, you can do so many things inside of this. And this is what gets me so excited about this is um, I can choose to uh, start the stream right now with just this video. And then when it comes out of it, it then hits me on the webcam. I can do that. Um, anyway, you can kind of uh, arrange this the way that you want. You can really build out the show that you want to create inside of the webcam feature. And so this is what we really like about this. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and click go live just so that you can see this. All right, I am live right now. And as you can see, it now switched it so that I'm in the live now uh, tab. And so now if I click this button here, it's then going to take us over to Facebook and show that there I am. I'm live right now, which is pretty cool. I can then come back to Live Pigeon. Again, I can copy this link. I can send it out to people. And let's say I wanted to go ahead and roll this video. So I could set the video up like, hey, thank you for joining me live today. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a testimonial that we got of one of our customers at Live Pigeon and their experience in using Live Pigeon. And I thought this was so good that I wanted to make sure that you saw it today. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of backstory on it. So Garrett White, uh, he has been using uh, Live Pigeon for, for years now. And what's been cool about it is this is how he 
takes and distributes his content across so many different platforms. But he goes real live to Instagram. In fact, you know what? I don't want to ruin it. I want you to hear from him. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you right now. Boom. So I press play on the video. You can see I do have the option. I can stop the video if I need to. Um, this up here now says that the video runtime is 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Um, and then right here, this is an important step. After the video ends, what do you want to do? Do you want to come back to the webcam or do you want to end the stream? So I'm going to go ahead and click end stream. And if I come back over here to Facebook, you can see that as I'm going, there's a little bit of a delay, which always throws me off. But you can see here that I'm talking right now and I'm about to roll this video. There it is. And now I'm rolling the video. So that is the power of being able to use webcam inside of Live Pigeon. Uh, again, I could comment, I can stop the stream, I can play a different video, I can... Anyway, there's so many different things that you can do, but I want you to jump in and I want you to start playing around with this and see how you like this tool. And if there is anything that you would want different, let us know. In fact, uh, what I was going to tell you is at the bottom of the page here, we have a support page that has different support articles that you can get um, which I think is super helpful, especially if there is anything you do get stuck on, you can jump in here and find a support article uh, to help you through it. We also have our email at the bottom and a phone number. And in the bottom right-hand corner, we also have our chat window. So again, we want to make sure that we're accessible in case there is anything that you have questions about. But that's it for this video. I have hoped that you have enjoyed it and I cannot wait for you to jump in and try this out for yourself. And that's it for this video. Until next time.